What's up YouTube, this is Prince at ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to erase Cydia without updating your iPhone. So if you're on any jailbreak, whatever firmware you're on, 10.2 or 9.3.5 with this phone right here is on right now. It's kind of, as you can see, it's been through some rough times, but this is my only jailbroken phone, my iPhone 4S. So I'm going to show you guys how to erase Cydia. So there's Cydia right there. Jailbroken broken with Phoenix 9.3.5. The video to this will be linked in the description if you want to see how to jailbreak your phone. So let's open up Cydia. Let it load. And you're going to want to add a source for this. Let's add one source. Let's go to, we can look at changes, see all the new stuff that just came out today. So you want to go to sources right there you want to hit edit and then add and you're going to want to add this, the source on screen right now just type it in just that it is type it in just like that don't erase the HTTP part just add whatever is on screen to the existing hit add source and you should be good to go hit done and you're going to have this source right here that one right there so I tap on it all packages it's only going to be one package in there that one right there is only going to be one package you want to tap on it you want to hit install in the right corner confirm and just let it install so this is going to erase Cydia from your phone without updating it because if your firmware you're on right now is not signed you can't basically you, if you update to lose Cydia you're going to update to the latest firmware that's the only way you could get rid of Cydia with this method you could get rid of Cydia and stay on the firmware that you're currently on so this is Cydia eraser it's going to erase Cydia from your phone erase all the jailbreak stuff everything leave you with a clean phone like you never had a jailbreak from the beginning okay so so there it is right here so there's the icon right there it said remover so you tap on this you gotta select whatever tool you use to jailbreak so these are all the jailbreak tools right now Yalu, Extra Receipt, Home Depot and Phoenix so I just selected Phoenix that's the one I use to jailbreak my device so you're basically gonna select the one that you use to jailbreak your device and hit on jailbreak see it said erasing this part could take some time So there it is. So City is gone, but I have Phoenix right there. So basically, if I want to do the whole thing, I could just erase Phoenix from the device. And it's like I'm, I was never jailbroken in the beginning. So everything is gone. So let's so even though I still have that tweak Right there so if I turn off my device but basically I'm gonna turn off my device okay guys so after the phone reboots and slide to unlock everything should be just as normal no Cydia no nothing so if I slide down Go to Spotlight Search. City. You can see stuff pop up in like the news about well, City, but there's no app. That's just on Wikipedia right there. But there's no app on the phone 
about Cydia. So there you go, guys. That's how you erase Cydia on your phone, from your phone, without losing your jailbreak. I was on 9.3.5, even though I could do a restore because technically this is the last um, firmware for this iPhone 4S. But if you're on um, 10.2 jailbreak with Yalu, all that kind of stuff, you'll be fine. You could erase Cydia and stay on that firmware and then re-jailbreak if Cydia and all the tweaks and all that stuff is causing problems or it's just running slow and you want to get rid of Cydia and all the tweaks, that's how you do it. And a little, not a little info I want to give you guys. Before you do this, erase all the tweaks, all the themes, everything. Just delete them from Cydia, uninstall all the tweaks, everything before you do this and that will make the process a lot easier so you don't have to reboot and all that kind of stuff so there you go guys Prince of ATP 101 a lot more videos comment make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I make my new videos yeah so yeah a lot of new videos coming on the iPhone and the new firmware basically a lot of a lot of stuff coming guys so subscribe peace